The Action News viewers have spoken, David. We are finally at number one in our countdown of the top six diners in our area. The winner is the dining car in Northeast Philadelphia. Jessica Boyington is there live to show us just what makes it special. And Jess, we know you've done that yourself. Uh, we, you know what? I have done my research. There, it's, it, there were six weeks of this. So six weeks ago, we started with our t number six diner. Now we're at number one. And here's one of the magic makers behind all of that. This is Nancy Morozin. She's actually one of the co-owners of the dining car. What I want to know from you is we talked about this. We didn't pick this. That's a, at Channel 6. We didn't pick this diner. The viewers did. So how do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Good morning, Jess. Hi. We're thrilled. We're so happy. We love it. You know, we've been here a long time, you know, almost 60 years. So to still be getting this love, we're grateful and we're happy. And I'll tell you what, you. I ate some of this food the other day. I can see why and spending some time here with your employees and you. Mm -hmm. We can also see why we made a little story for you about it. Take a look. For the last 60 years, the Morozin family has dominated the diner game in Northeast Philadelphia. Yeah. The dining car, or as its regulars affectionately call it, the car, will soon be celebrating 60 years in business. So what is it about this place? There's love involved. Love involved. <laughs> this is Chef Larry. He's been here for 45 years. The menu goes beyond typical diner food. Diners basically follow tastes and don't create tastes. We decided to change that. Part soup, part stew. We do a lot of our own signature cakes. We call this Fat Elvis. Vanilla cake, peanut butter, and banana pudding. And they have exceptional desserts. I'm never speechless, but that is so good. We got best to Philly for our Jewish apple. That orange crunch ring. <laughs> it's the best kept secret in Philadelphia. We have a large bakery in the basement. We do everything here. You have a we do all this the, from you scratch. Have a you have a basement bakery. Yeah. I want to go so, in that basement. Look at the basement bakery. Mm, OK. We're going in. Secret basement bakery. Hold on tight. Hold on. Is it haunted down here? It smells so good down here. Better than any basement that I've ever been in in my life. There's cupcakes back here. This is the Every least day. scariest basement I've ever been in. <laughs> we bake around the clock. It's a factory down here. These will be mini fat Elvises because we make fat Elvis in two sizes. A mini large fat cake. Elvises. <laughs> Pillar desserts, loyal staff, and a strong Philly perspective make this place what it is. I'm only as good as the last onion soup I made. I'm only as good as the last yeah. beef goulash I made. And, and that's how I love it. Like. as if I didn't eat enough the other day. I have more food here with me. We have some chef specialties and we have some typical breakfast breakfast items. I'm going to eat them shortly. Tell me what your favorite is on this table right here. Right here, the Fontina omelet. Oh, that's what that is? What's in there? Yeah, spinach, red roasted peppers, Fontina cheese, delicious. Our biggest seller though is the chip beef. Love it. I'm going to eat that omelet. We're going to pack it up. Matt and Tam, get your orders in. We're coming in hot around 7.30. <laughs> Oh, listen, beyond the Fontina omelet, I want the Jewish apple cake, a coconut cream pie. I think you need to go back to the basement, Jessica. All right. I need a pen. <laughs> okay. Oh, and a fat Elvis, too. That's right. <laughs> we have a list. We'll see you in a little bit. Good job, Jess. Thank you. Number one right there.